On September 20th, 2011, I decided to start Spatry's Cup of Linux, and one year later, wow, I can't believe the results that I've seen with this show, with over 1,070,000 views and 6,200 plus subscribers. I'd like to thank all of you for uh, your, your contributions, your financial support, and everybody who has helped to make this show really great. And the best way that I can think of to celebrate one year of success with Smatry's Cup of Linux is to start a new boot camp series for you guys. That's right, it's a new boot camp series on Precise Pangolin, Ubuntu 1204, and we're going to start with the introduction to Ubuntu right now on Smatry's Cup of Linux. Welcome to Ubuntu Bootcamp Part 1. In this series, I am going to attempt to take you step by step through everything you could possibly want to know about the Ubuntu operating system. First, let me start by saying that I am not an expert. I just have a passion for sharing knowledge that I have obtained with the community to help others who wish to learn about this marvel of human genius. Now, over the years, I have used Linux distributions, and I've always kept a live CD or DVD in my toolbox because they've helped me solve issues that I was having with my Windows operating system, and it was the only free way to fix things. For example, I can remember one time my master boot record got uh, messed up, and I ended up having to use a live DVD, which was a Nopix disc at the time, to... Uh, restore my master boot records so that I didn't have to reinstall Windows and all the drivers and all the applications and all this other stuff and I was able to fix all of that and so I've watched Ubuntu and Linux mature over the years and I really believe that it is now desktop ready I know Windows 8 is going to be coming out very soon and I'll this may rub a number of desktop users the wrong way. So what I would like to do is create a series to introduce people who may not be liking the direction that, uh, that you know, Windows is headed in. And so I know when Vista came out, I've decided to give Ubuntu another try, and there were one or two little niggles that it had at that time that really didn't make me wish to stick with Linux. But it wasn't until about a year and a half, almost two years ago, that I tried a distribution called Mint, and everything worked out of the box, and I was really surprised because I'd never seen a Linux distribution do that before. Now, uh, a lot of this course, for those of you who want to jump ahead... can do a Google search for the Ubuntu guide here. And I'm actually going to be doing this course based on the information contained in the Ubuntu guide. And so for those of you who want to just jump ahead, you can get pretty much get all the information uh, on pretty much anything you want to know about Ubuntu on this page. I will have a link to this in the show notes, or you can just simply do the Google search as I just did, and uh, we'll be able to proceed from there. Now, a lot of you may be asking, well, what is Ubuntu? Ubuntu is a complete desktop Linux operating system freely available with both community and professional support. The Ubuntu community is built on the ideas enshrined in the Ubuntu Manifesto. That software should be available free of charge. That software tools should be usable by people in their local language despite any disabilities. And that people should have the freedom to customize and alter their software in whatever way they see fit. Ubuntu will always be free of charge. And there are no extra fees for the Enterprise Edition. Ubuntu makes their best work available to everyone on the same free terms.
Ubuntu includes this very best in translation and accessibility infrastructure that the free software community has to offer to make Ubuntu usable by as many people as possible. Ubuntu is shipped in stable and regular release cycles. A new release will be shipped every six months. You can use the current stable release or the current development release. A release will be supported for 18 months. Ubuntu is entirely committed to the principles of open source software development. Ubuntu encourages people to use open source software, improve it, and pass it on for the benefit of others. Ubuntu is suitable for both desktop and server use and it supports many platforms. Ubuntu includes thousands of packages, starting with the Linux kernel and then it has the Unity desktop that you see here uh, on top of that. Uh, there are a number of other applications that this comes with, such as spreadsheet applications to internet applications, web server software, email software, programming languages, and tools. And of course, there are plenty of games for this as well. Ubuntu, the Ubuntu project is sponsored by a Canonical Limited. Canonical will not charge license fees for Ubuntu now or any stage in the future. Canonical's business model is to provide technical support and professional services related to Ubuntu. We encourage more companies also to offer support for Ubuntu, and we'll list those that do on the support pages of the Ubuntu website. Also, the Ubuntu forums is a wonderful place with which to interact with the community and find the answers that you are looking for. And it doesn't matter if you're using Ubuntu or an Ubuntu-based distribution. You will find the answers that will help you with your distribution on their support forms. Ubuntu is truly a beautiful operating system, and the Unity interface here makes it easy for you to find applications or to uh, easily install them as well. Uh, this is the HUD interface here, and this shows right now just the recent applications that I have here, but also it gives you a listing of installed applications and it gives you selections that are available for download. You can even filter results ticking up here, and let's say you just want to look at some games. Okay, you will see what is installed right here, and it also gives you some suggestions for options that are available to download. There are also a number of accessories that come with this, as well as office tools. Now, this is a lightweight distribution that fits on a CD, so it has a number of applications to get you started, but you'll definitely want to check out the Ubuntu Software Center for all of that. Uh, you have a quick launch to your LibreOffice Writer, your spreadsheet program, and uh, the Impress program, as well as uh, the Ubuntu Software Center right here. And from here, you'll be able to install just about any package that you can think of just by doing a simple search and uh, just type in what it is that you're looking for, and it will get it for you. For instance, now that this has started to load up here, one thing of interest for those of you who like games, you'll definitely want to check out the Humble Indie Bundle. I went and made a donation yesterday, and I downloaded the games, and I sat up all night playing uh, Spaz, which is one of the games in this series. It's really great. There's a lot of really nice applications that you can get for this. So in the search box here, let's just say I want a video editor. The Ubuntu Software Center is going to do a search, and it's going to give you a list of different uh, editors that are available. And wow, looks like we have a new one that I've never even heard of called a Lombard video editor. doesn't have that many stars checked. It's probably relatively new and doesn't have very many features. But as you can see here, we have uh, OpenShot, which is popular, and then of course Kdn Live. That's what I use. It looks like Op OpenShot actually got the higher score than Kdn Live. Hmm, that's a surprise to me. But at any rate, you can find just about any application under the sun here uh, that you can install, and not only is the software, most of the software that you will get from the Ubuntu Software Center free, it's also pretty good. 
Clicking here will launch the System Settings tool. And from here, you can pretty much alter the system to your liking. And there are a number of things here, such as altering your appearance, your brightness, your keyboard layout, your language support, the Ubuntu One, and we'll get into all of these things in a later time. Uh, you can um, manage your hardware. We will cover this later on, Bluetooth, color displays everything you're going to need to get the most out of managing your system customizing it and making it your own is done right here and we will cover this in the series as well as many of the topics that are covered right here um, you may pause the video and read through them if you wish i am also going to be covering a lot of this material if not all of it depending on uh depending on uh the time that I have to work on this series so you can be assured that there's going to be an awful lot covered in the Ubuntu uh, boot camp here and because this is an LTS this distribution still has a good four and a half years of updates and time left on it so I figured this would be a wonderful opportunity to put this together for you well that's the brief overview and uh, there'll be more headed your way soon the next episode will focus on creating bootable mediums that you can use to try out Ubuntu without installing it on your system. So we'll be working within the Windows environment, which probably most of you are using if you're beginners and you've never used Ubuntu before. So we're going to make a live CD or DVD and a live USB stick. You'll definitely want to stick around for that one if you have no experience with making any of those. Mm -hmm.